I think the only people who can build our country is Liberians because no one else can build your country. stories of Liberia and today again I'm somewhere in Masha yeah Masha is gradually becoming uh, the city to be I mean everybody from the States is trying to build something here and so today I'm gonna meet up with uh, someone called Gontuon <laughs> Gontuon uh, is from the United States and then uh, he's building something here special so I'm gonna see you right here so keep watching if you're coming for the first time make sure you hit that subscription button, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos from Liberia. Those as you come to diary, we are telling the untold stories of Liberia. Keep watching. heavy trucks that are crossing this area okay guys so um I have to actually pack my car out there because um I mean this is a sandy area and I don't really trust my car to bring it into the sand so I'm walking and you can see this area very Vast length, sandy length to be precise, like you know, all over there, all sand. And we're in Masha, so we just, I'm showing you, I think a new community coming up here. So this guy is taking me to see Gontomo. I hope I got the name right. To show me exactly what he's into from the united states he's building something back home and this is a new community i see the very beautiful building on the other side uh, but i'm trying to make my way through the same first and then this time maybe probably i can show you what is happening around here wow. Cassava and palm. <laughs> Is that how they call it? Play? Copa con. Copa con. Copa con. Yeah, I mean total bag in parcel. Total bag? Yeah. Wow, so we get a whole total bag here. Correct, let's, let's, let's skip here. They are coming to have the land. They were? The whole land. Take for the price, I think it was one S. Okay. So you're saying that you're, 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 you're still selling land in the play? No, 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 no. Land in the high. Oh, okay. Some people are going to land on you, but no free land right now. Oh, some people are going to land on you? Yeah, it's certain land on you. So, when you buy them, you're paying us. Okay. So, the guy is saying? Left, man. You're going to go back to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So, I see. <laughs> so, I already seen. 
Gunter. I mean, in here, you know, you can see the guy there already. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Good, good. Fine yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Thanks for coming on site today. Okay, so I'm here, man. So, uh, we are somewhere, is it Bakbakon? Yeah, this is the place called Bakbakon. Bakbakon, top dog back. Yeah, I just asked the guy. Yeah. Yeah. And he told me that he said that it's in Basra, it means. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, top dog back. Back. Yeah. All right, so guys, uh, those of you watching the counter diary, we're already on the site, and then uh, we'll be talking to him, and uh, he's gonna be telling us exactly what they are doing here. So keep watching. So, um, so probably we'll start with you first. I mean, we're just gonna go straight into it. All right. Also, what's your full name? My name is Gonton Wangen. Uh, I'm based in the state, but I'm originally from Liberia. This is my home. I love Liberia, and one of my long-time dreams was to come back and build. And when I say build, meaning my vision to make it come to a life. Okay. So, but my career, I'm a designer. I do, I'm in the architecture and engineering field. Okay. So True Home, that's my own uh, design company that I do work in the state. And I do work here too, all different uh, kinds of design. If you want, I can do it for you. So, I so, can... so I mean, uh, when, when you're talking about design, right? Architecture Which, design. Architecture design. Yes. So that's how you have. A, let's talk about what you have at True Home. Well, I have in True Home. Yeah. What's it? What, what do you guys do? So we, I meet with customer, sit down with them, and if you want to get your house built, I come up with like sketch, and then from that process, take into the 3D, come up with like the whole entire process of like the design, how much it will cost you and then try to work with you, trying to get a, a, a good contractor who can build this, the plan. Okay, so you guys are, your business this, right? Yes, but I, I'm, I'm branching out to La Bureau now. So this is my third project in La Bureau. Okay. Yeah, so this is my, it's like, it's still running by True Home, okay. but it's gonna be for your, me. Your personal? Yes. Okay. So uh, I see someone with you. Yes, this is my, project guy who kind of worked along bringing him on board too okay. and I'm getting some more people too I got a, a structural engineer who lived in Liberia who couldn't make it today but his name is uh, Dota he's like the structure uh, the engineer director for the engineer society in, in Liberia all right so let's see exactly what you're doing here today all right if you want to look at the plan I can show it to you oh okay. you no we can go on the side and we'll talk about it okay so um, we're walking and trying to see exactly what you already started. This guy is, I mean, which state are you from? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. Uh, that's the state I wanted to say because of CNN. All right, they come down there. <laughs> because of CNN. I'll, I'll get you. <laughs> Just come. That's my, it's on live, right? Yeah. So if you come, I'll host you. You don't have to worry, but nowhere to stay, okay? All right, because of CNN. Oh, yeah, I, want I, go, to... I, I go to the place a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, which way should we pass? Let's go this way. I can show the whole, <laughs> show the whole picture. All right, so. um. So this is a whole new construction so This here will have the gate here. Okay. That will be the, the main door that you can walk through. And this will be where the car entrance. So this unit is going to be, it's three unit. So it's like a town home, but each person will have their own private garage. And each unit have, so the, the left unit will have three bedrooms. The middle will have two. And each bedroom has private bathroom and bathroom and the unit has their own rooftop because of the, the area. So I have to plan when I can do show you. Okay, let's just see them we just come to the plan come out. So okay. these guys are doing Yep, this is a guys right now. Because the, on the sandy area okay. it's a little bit tiny here, it's not like your typical hard ground. Okay. So do you wanna say something? How's your family before we go to the design? Uh, well, my name is James. I'm a project manager. And we are on the site. Uh, our project is ongoing. Uh, we find it uh, difficult because of the sand. So, however, our men are working gradually. And I want to tell God thank you for the strength. Okay. So, so, far. so you guys are... So let's go back to uh, our game. Let's, let's, see, let's see the structure. Uh, I mean, the design. So the, these homes are gonna be, this is your personal home, right? It's gonna be rented out as private guest house. Oh, okay. 
so this is okay this is like more like so a, right now this is where you're standing okay. right now we're, in, we're here we're here right now oh, okay so you can see here each this is three this is one unit so the car will be over there and there's another unit here and there's another unit so we already have the fence in here because okay. What I try to do is like take small space and max it out to the best, as because as you design, you don't want to waste every space. So I want to utilize every single space on this land. So that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. So how many how many uh, uh, bedroom are you building? So total, okay. So we just saw so six. That's two. That's six. Because yes. Six bedroom. Yes. Okay. And how many lots are there? No, that's six. So it's there's three here. Mm. It's three. That's six, seven, eight. So you're gonna you're gonna build like um <laughs> I can show you let me go to the next stage. I, I can put my my laptop up too so you can see like the actual 3D rendering because most people wanna see uh hold on one second. So all this thing here was done by me. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is all my work right in my studio and so you can kind of see change the game. Okay, now I got a clear understanding of what you're trying to do. I thought you know that was more for the engineers. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. They hold this real quick. So let's go to let me shoot the front view. So this here is the front. When you come in, mm -hmm. that's what you're gonna see. So this is one unit. And this is another unit and this is one. So each person has their own private garage. So everything is private here. So is it going to be more like an Airbnb? Yeah, so we have to do Airbnb, short-term rental. Uh, if you want to rent like the whole section of the place, you can go for it. And then you have a rooftop and you want to come out because of the, the land we own with the cold breeze. And so that's that's the vision that. But uh, I mean, like, if somebody is in the states, I want to get in touch with you on how to do some of these things. Yes. Um, how do they contact you? Oh, my business name. I have my car here, hmm. and I'm on Instagram too as True Home hmm. Design. I will give you my information so you, okay. you can follow me. And I have done a lot of projects for doctors in the state as well. So what I'm doing here is like low scope, like low. When I, for like budget wise, because I've done like project over 500k. So, but, so this one, something like this is going to cost how much to do? Maybe close, I'm looking at on a 100k. Okay. Yeah. If somebody wants to do something like this, how much are you going to charge them to do the design for them? See, that's kind of, it's it, it varies on the square foot. Okay. Because I have to sit down and gather all this information, what you want, what you don't want, come and see the site. Because... My thing is, I have a whole contract before I start design. I have to we have to agree on contract before I go because my time. I'm very very careful with my time. I don't just like to just talk and then. So if you want to do the the work, I will come and sit down with you, see what your vision is, and then come up with a sketch. Okay, uh, before we go, let's talk about uh, how long you've been doing this. Hmm. Almost what going to. I said 15 to 12, yeah, 15 years now. 15 years. Yeah, wow. this this company I started in my mom's <laughs> parents' room. <laughs> and I and I have a picture because it was just one that I was just there, I was like poor. I said, I'm gonna come up with my own business and I just believe. So like the journey was tough. To where I'm at right now is like things is picking up now. Uh -huh. So yeah. But I also work as a consultant for an engineer firm too in the state. But all my all my work is done for my house. But well, this is the question I keep asking yeah. a lot of folks, right? Um, those of you from the states now, somebody say they see all the good life. Why are you guys coming back to Africa? Well, I can speak for myself. Yeah, speak for yourself. Before I left, hmm. before I left Africa, hmm. I was in Africos. That's where I grew up. So once as a refugee. Yes. So I was I was born here, but I grew up schooling in Africa. So coming to the state, it's just I knew within my heart, this is where I want to be. Because I told my mom, I said, I'm just going there, promise me you're going to bring me back. So as a child, that, that thought still stuck in my head. So for me, it's not about, 
why does they have everything? I, I think the only people who can build our country is Liberians. Because no one else can build your country. So I think that for me, that's why I will, that's where I'll have to, yeah. Okay, so uh, you say only Liberian can build Liberia. And uh, some people have this problem of people who work for them. How, how is the experience like working with the guys here? I mean, like those guys doing the work currently. Yep, I think it's it's challenging because I'm when it comes to being professional, that's that's what I've worked to get to this level. So if I know it, how it been done, as far as like industry wise, I will not bend. I will stick to that because end of the day. That's what will make the difference because my design will speak when I'm not there. So my work speaks for itself. I don't need to be there and say, oh, this is what I do. So uh, I just try to share some of the idea to them. And I think it's based off if you want to accept it or if you don't. Okay. Yeah. All right. If somebody wants to contact, uh, where do they get you? Social media and that. So I'm on. I'm on. Uh, Instagram, True Home Design, 01, and my phone number in the state is 404-903-1059. You can reach out to me, or you can go to my email is truehomedesign01 at gmail.com, and it's on here too. All right, so, I mean, those guys, are you seeing it just going right on your screen for you to know about True Home Design? And they are into designing homes, you know, for you. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, you guys out there, you say you don't trust anybody down here. But now you have somebody from the States who also doing that. So you can probably just contact him from the other end. Then you guys can start to do the design. Uh, before, you want to say another thing before we take leave? Yes. So one of the things is I'm in the state. This is not my first home I've done. Houses for people living in Minnesota in Liberia. I went to see it. So I, I know a lot of people in the state want to come back and build by just the trust so if you're looking for a contractor a designer I can work with you I can do my part and then show you uh, bring the contractor that I trust that I've used they can I can showcase their work so fears is not real until you people just act on fear to make it real so I think all those things is true yeah people are afraid of coming back home but I think you just gotta, I'm a believer of taking chance. So you, you're you gonna make mistakes, but sometimes the mistake helps you to learn. All right, the full name again? Gone to one one again. Okay, go Go call me Jime. Okay, Jime. Yes. All right, thank you. It was nice talking to you. All right, so uh, we are here just showing the side of uh, Gone to one as to what exactly he's doing here. Uh, you know, if you love what he's doing, the information are on your screen, you can actually following you up on Instagram and then uh, True Home. Then you'll be able to build your home, um, you know, get, get connected to the right guys uh, that will be able to, to, you know, to do your work properly. See this place? Yeah, so this the mat we've been trying. But this is a small corner. Yeah, this is this is small. Yeah, but the big one then they haven't they they will bend this whole thing, put it there, and then they will pull concrete, and they have another. They have another. Uh, they have eight of this. This is four. Sixteen because there's there's a lot of wood. So the reason why this is four. <laughs> Because the weight is not that much on this, but those right there, they carry the whole entire weight of the house. Hmm. So when you, design, when you design a structure, you can make the block independent from the column. So if anything happened to the block, the columns are still uh, standing strong. So let's say you, you bust the whole wall, the building will still stand strong. So that's one of the things that is very important when you when you build this column because the block is just there supporting what is above but the main thing that's carrying away is those all those those columns. Yeah,
name is Robert Keller, we're for Gracious Design Construction Company. We do at most building. We do bridge, we do building construction. And we are willing to work with you if only you're willing to work with us. We do everything as the, the design you give us. We do your plan according, we say we do your building according to the plan that you give us. All depends on the way you want it. And we are willing to work with people. Feel free. Any other work you give us, trust us. And we'll do it to the best of our ability. So how long you guys been to this? Uh, for me, since 2003, I've doing construction work. It's a big experience, I mean, huge one too. Yeah. Right. Thank you. All right. Thank you too. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. I mean, I like you. So yeah, so for this here, sandy ground, so we're using eight inch concrete, and we're using uh, five 60 millimeter uh, rebar, and we're doing eight pieces in the column because the amount of weight in the sandy, being on the sandy soil, you need to, all that weight coming from above, it need to disperse, so, that's what we decided to, when I hired a structural engineer, he, he did the structure drawing and I checked it to verify everything. So, but yeah, I have a whole team and there's a, a librarian on, I'm young. So I believe that life is all about taking chances and people ask me, are you afraid? Yeah, I'm afraid, but I don't act on fear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just around, I'm sitting here, yeah. <laughs> anything, anything is possible, but I'm your, yeah, typical librarian man from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, okay. But you're welcome anytime. Atlanta is... You can go walk around, you can meet those guys. I think, uh... Oh, okay.